welcome back to the channel. I am Tactical Files. In this episode, we are starting it from fresh. We are starting with a new team, new manager, new plan, new tactics, and new signings that I've never shown you before. We're gonna find Wonder Kids. It's gonna be amazing. Look at Perlo, looks amazing. Got the trainers on with the jeans, look at him. The jacket, look at it just blowing in the wind. Sponsored by Zara. <laughs> the first one, he's 20 years old, French, from France, Tangai Nianzu. This guy, 77 jumping, strength 79. You've probably seen him in other FIFAs. I've seen him in other FIFAs, but what they did wrong in the other FIFAs, they messed up his face, all right? He had a real face, but he messed it up completely. Nianzu is very skinny. And what they had him, he had him looking chubby. And I was like, and I refused to buy him because they did it wrong. But this time, they got it right, mate. They got it right. Interception, 71. Heading, 78. Stand tackle, very important for me. I like stand tackles, and that's how I win the ball the most in defense, especially in the box, because I'm not that great at defending. So I need my defenders to have a good stand tackle. Defense and awareness, 71. He's injury prone, but we're gonna buy like four center backs today. So we're gonna have some backups. And his aggression is 75. So I'm going in for him. I'm not gonna whinge about it. His strength, 79. We're going in for him. All right, so he's gonna be a little bit cheap. He's definitely gonna be our most expensive defender. So we're gonna trade Felipe for Nianzu and see what they say. Yeah. Because we're getting rid of some players, man. We're getting rid of majority of our players. Simeone, what he did wrong, he bought a lot of players and then he just didn't renew them, you know? He just kept the same old players. They got old defenders, um, Gimerez, they got Savage. It's getting ridiculous. It's absolutely getting ridiculous. So we're fixing it. We're fixing the big problem that Simeone's had with Atletico for, for the last five, six, seven years. Now we're gonna do some negotiations with the agent of Nianzu. Sporadic, cool, but I think Nianzu's gonna be a very important player for us. I want a five year deal. They're not gonna have it though, because they never bloody do. No release clause, mate. We don't do release clauses at Atletico. 21,000 a week. I'm not gonna argue about that, am I? Tangai Nianzu, welcome to Atletico Madrid. I think that was a good thing. We swapped him for our little right back, Felipe. Boom, bam, boom, bam. All right, Winther. Winther is 21, 65 overall, from Denmark. And I always will stipulate it the most, okay? When you are looking for a player to develop, try to get him 65 overall. That's like the sweet spot for developing a player. This guy, Winther, look at this. 65 defending, that's really good. If he's a defender and he's on 65 and he's a 65 overall, that means as he grows, his numbers will just grow with him. He already has jump in 73 and strength 71. His reactions are 64. That's gonna be great. Inception 64, so he's gonna grow great. His acceleration and speed is terrible. They're 56, 54. But I think we can train him on that aspect. That's a new aspect where he's lacking. His agility is 56, but his balance is 60. So his balance is quite good for his overall. And then we just got 60s. 63 ball control, 67 defensive awareness, 68 stand tackle, short pass, 66, long pass, 65. This guy's good, he is good. And if you agree, I'm gonna go in for him. Frederick Winther, I want you, and I want you now. So he's gonna be cheap as chips. He's 1.5 mil, they probably gonna want 2 million for him. So I'm just gonna give him 1.7. They were happy, mate. Bring it on, bring it on. All right, let's delegate. Let's get this shit sorted down. Look at his wage, 4,300, we're going in. You might think you're a prospect, Winther, yeah? But I think you're important. But they think he's a prospect. All right, you're a prospect. We're gonna give you 10 grand, mate. We're gonna give you 10 grand, and we're gonna give you 50,000 sign-on bonus. I think that's fair. He's happy about it. Come on, my boy. There he is, our second signing of this episode, Frederick Winther. He's looking good in his kit. He's looking good. See, Atletico just need to build their youth, man. And they, and they don't really, they don't really integrate their youth into the team a lot of the time. So we have to do it for them. Our next defender that we're going to buy is Yerson Mosquerera. 
21 years old, Colombian, 64 overall. But his 64 overall is something special because he has a lot of greens and yellows. Look, sprint speed 79. So he's the guy, he's gonna have the speed for me. Yeah, his acceleration isn't great, but we'll, we'll, get, we'll push it up. Strength 73, jumping 73, heading 64. His stand tackle is gonna grow with his sliding tackle and his defensive awareness. I like him a lot. Defending 63, but like I said, room to grow, only 21 years old. We're going in for him. All right, so they think he's gonna be about 1.4 million. We're gonna go in and see if they're gonna to agree to it. We're gonna offer him 1.3, see if they budge. No, well, I just bought Winther. You're not having Winther, are you mad? Let's give them Gonzalez. Oh, they, oh, they accepted. We gave them our youngster. They're giving us their youngster. Deal, innit? Happy families. All right, agent talks. We're gonna think, yep, you're a prospect. Look, female agent, I love it. I love it a lot. Three year deal, Mascarera. No release clause, mate, sorry. I'm, I apologize, but we're gonna give you 13,000 a week. And just like Winther, we think you deserve 50,000 signing on bonus. What do you think, mate? You think it's a reasonable offer? Third signing of today, bang, bang, bang. Perlo is creating a squad for the future. And we're gonna get one more centre back, okay? I like this guy, yeah? I like him a lot, and I think I'm gonna buy him. But we're gonna hold off a sec. He's a Liverpool player. He's on loan at the moment at Charlton. But what I did, I'll tell you a secret. If I know what some players I want to buy, for sure, before I start the career mode, I will go to club transfers and settings and take him from Charlton and put him back in the Liverpool squad, yeah? So then I can go and get him on the first year, do you know? Because none of us want to wait a whole year to buy a player. So if you didn't know that, now you know that. This is one player I've been looking at a lot of the time. Tyrone Abuhi. Nigerian, 26 years old, 70 overall. This guy, look at it, look at him. 90 sprint speed. Are you, are you nuts? 83 acceleration. This 89 jumping. This guy is crazy, it's crazy. Look at him, look at him. That's crazy, that's mad. On his last page, he ain't got a lot of good stuff, do you know? Like crossing could be like a green or something at least, you know, but short passing 64. I always think short passing, that's decent 64. 26, he's a bit on the older side, you know? So makes me a little bit unsure, but I like him. I like him a lot. And he is someone I am thinking about for the right back position. And another person I'm looking at but they're on the up opposite side, the left back position is Sosa. Sosa, he looks good, but oh, do you know what is? Look, his legs are too skinny. His legs are too skinny. I don't think he could handle them tackles down the wing. And do you know what, how I know he can't handle them tackles down the wing? He's injury prone. And I know he'll break his knee. He'll be out for five, six months. But do I go in for him? 78 overall, Croatian, 24 years old. 79 dribbling, ball control 79. It's a hard decision, it's a hard decision. But I think I got a couple of ideas of people I do want to buy. Let's now talk about some of the left backs and right backs I am really thinking to buy. Angelino, I found him after I started career mode and I'm thinking, damn it, I should have made sure he was available and not on loan. So basically, I can't buy Angelino until the January window, basically. And also, Steven Sessignon, his brother plays for Tottenham, as we know. I'm really thinking of having him as a left back, but silly me, didn't make him available for the first window. So we can't do nothing about that. But one player I have been looking at, and he looks like a very good prospect, Niall Hudgens, mate. Right back, all plays left back, from Wales, 21 years old, 59 overall, all right? This guy, 82 balance, 76 acceleration, sprint speed, and his agility are in the high 60s. Stamina 63. This guy could be something good. And I think I could teach him some things. I think he's got good growth in him. I know what you're thinking. Mate, his numbers are dreadful. I'm gonna prove you wrong. I will prove you wrong. And I'm gonna show you what he's really made of. I played with him a couple of times, a couple of times. And we're going in for him, mate. Niall Hudgens. Weirdly, this guy has no face for his little picture marker but then he has a real face in the game. Madness, absolute madness. 
All right, he's gonna cost us half a million. We're gonna go straight in, tell him straight, we'll give you half a mil, no change, that's it. We got him, we got him. Like I always say, don't underestimate players. Just cause you see a bunch of numbers, it doesn't mean they're terrible. All right, so his wage, we're gonna make sure he's sporadic. He likes that, he likes that. Three year deal, no release clause, mate. And we're gonna slide you 10 grand, mate. 50 grand side on bonus. That's it, that's it. It's an aim of the game. Sign sealed, delivered, mate. Our first wing back has arrived. Multi wing back, he can play left or right. Pretty amazing. We took him from England and he's with us in Spain. All right, I need another wing back. You know I said before, Angelino, Sessegnon, I can't get them, they're on loan. We're looking at this other guy, Bernardo. He's 27 years old. He seems all right. He seems like that's his real face as well. His numbers wasn't really like, you know, making me jump up and down. I've been thinking, there's this kid, 24 years old, left midfield player, okay? Plays in the midfield, 69 overall. I'm thinking of making him our left wing back and training him. Let me show you his numbers. This guy, acceleration 89, 89. Sprint speed 94, agility 89, balance 85. Stamina 75. This guy is the deal. Guess who he plays for? Norwich, but he's on loan. So I had to take him off loan before I started the career mode. So he's available for us to buy. I admit though, I was originally going to use him as a left winger, but mate, I need a left wing back. I think he's that guy. Left footed as well, and he's got the flair. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Speed dribbler, I am going in for him. All right, this guy's gonna cost us about 2.2 mil. I'm all for it, mate. But you know what? I don't wanna leave them high and dry. So we're gonna try and give him a little midfielder or something, you know make them a little bit happy. We'll give him Albert Moreno. No, you're not having Winfer. Why do they all want Winfer? I'm not having it. Do you know what? I'm just gonna give you money, mate. That's it. 2.2, take that. And they took it. They took it. Man, I'm so happy about this left wing back, man. Gonna train him. We're gonna do magical things this season. All right, so he's 24 years old. I'm gonna call him important. I'm gonna let him know how that he's important. You know, I'm gonna let him know. Two year deal he wants. They're so cheap. So cheap with the contract lengths. Six point, nah mate, no release clause mate. Cause we're not letting you go. 17,000 a week. I'm happy about that mate. We got our left back, left footed. We're gonna train him. He's quick as anything. 90 something speed mate, crazy. We got him from England, we got him from England. I just added a few more other players left back alternatives I could buy also. Tavares, he did so well in the World Cup, if you didn't know. I've got a Brazilian called Iago. All right, press left back or left midfield. He seems all right. I don't really have his stats either. There's a kid called Nets, left back, 19 years old. I know some people have been talking about this kid on the game, saying like his overall was really good. But also I've been looking at Pedraza, 26 year old. He's tall, man. Six foot, lanky, and I'm thinking to buy him. It's him or Gomez, look at Gomez. 21 years old, could buy Gomez. I think I'm gonna go buy Pedraza. Yeah, I'm gonna buy Pedraza, he's 26. I'm gonna gamble it, I'm gonna gamble it. I like to have a little gamble sometimes and be like, you know, try him out. So we need to know how much Pedraza is going for. We use Alex Witzel as a little bait. Oh, he's 20 million. Pedraza 20 million, damn. We swapped him for our right back that we don't want. I think this is our first, our first Spanish to Spanish transfer, do you know? Which is good, you know? Giving some people a, a, a better shot, you know, for a better team. I'm not having a release clause, mate. More important, you're four years for, with us. Oh, should we give him, should we offer him 100K? Let's offer him 100k and see what he says. Oh, he accepted, mate. We just bought a left back. <laughs> we just bought a left back. Me and Perlo are building a banging team. I hope this guy works out, man. Hope he works out. He's tall, he's got the physique, you know. Bit nimble down the wing. 
do you know what I just realised? We overspent for that guy. Because I offered a player, he said yes, but I didn't put the transfer fee back down to zero. So I gave him the player, which is worth 20 million, plus another 20 million. I'm an idiot. Oh my goodness. Damn it. All right, let's start putting our team together. Let's get a good feel for our players, yeah? Because we're going to play the first little um, pre-season match for the Asian Elite Cup against Chelsea. So we're going to play our new defence signings, see how they get on, think about who the starters should be. All right, so we're going to start off with Pedraza at the left back, Winther at the back, centre back with Nyanzu and Hudgens on the right back. And we'll see how we get in. And then we'll change the formation around and have a little feel about that and see, see what we want. It's going to be a good little match, you know? We're going to figure out our team. We're facing Chelsea, the team I support in real life. It's going to be interesting. Pass it out to our defence. Ooh. Pedaza looks, he, he feels ready for the first team. Hudgens on the ball. See, Hudgens is nimble. He's nimble. Pedaza, down the, look at that pace of Pedaza. Pedaza with the interception. Send it, over the top. Oh! Folly! Oh! Against the post. Damn it! Winter's got a really nice pass in. Well, really nice pass in. Alright, get in the middle. Who's in the middle? Make no mistake, Stuart. This club there we go. There we go. First goal. I think that was Carrasco running down the wing. Felix met him in the middle. That kit is beautiful. Alright, we are 1 0 up, man. Sterling, you know. Oh, oh, Nianzu with the clearance. Oh, what a tackle, Nianzu with the tackle. See, stunning tackles are very important. Send it, mate. First touch, lob him. All right, Hudgens. Come on, Hudgens. One, two. Oh, send it first time. What's up? Oh, that could have been, been a good goal. Swing it in. Trying to deliver it accurately. Oh! Who was that? Is that Lorente? Lorente with the bullet of the header. What a bullet. Hudgens. Beating Sterling to the ball, Hudgens. It's a weighted Offside. Pass. Come on, ref. <laughs> Nianzu with the slide. Nianzu, man. He's that guy. Doesn't need the pace because his tackling's on point. Look at that pass. Through the middle. Oh. Team goal. Look at that team goal. Get it back to the fence. Well done. Nianzu control it. Winther. Look at us play. Look how we're playing. Joao Smooth. Felix. We're as cold as ice. Willing to sacrifice. Half time, man. My defence have been on form. I need to see a bit more from Hudgens and um, Peraza on the left back. But I need to see what more they can do, you know? Their pace them going in for challenges and things like that. But my centre-backs, perfect, man. Absolutely perfect. Through the middle. Shoot! <laughs> with the long ranger! Felix with the long ranger. Damn, damn, damn. I thought, do you know what? Go inside me. Have a go. He couldn't have hit that any better. Look at that. Mendy's tall as well. And the fact that Mendy couldn't get to that, and this is shame on you. Nianzu, this is yours. Nianzu with the, the tackle. What a ball. On the floor. Oh. My left back's first challenge. Oh. 
well, and he's Hopefully successful. Nianzu, tick. So, Mascarera, he's coming on now for Nianzu. And I got Plan Planchetta, I think his name is. Planchetta. Um, he's come on for Piazza. Will be a throw in. Oh, Plachetta. Joao Felix. Give and go. Look at that give and go. Plachetta. So many chances. They've been brilliant. Look at that tackle. Yes, the chances. Mascarera. Mascarera already. Apparently. First tackle in the game. Who was that? Lorente. Oh, I'm getting to know my players. Oh, Lorente with a steal. Is it there for go on. Morata. Is that Morata? Our team feels ready, you know? But I admit, it's on world class at the moment. Well, I've again, just remembered, say, it's on world class. I haven't put it on to legendary yet. So legendary, it will go on in the next game. Ziyech. Tackle, what a tackle. Mascarera, man. Tackle after tackle. Well, the car <gasps> out. It's a female and referee. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's I thought they it's just made the women linesmen on this game. I like that. I like that a lot. What a ball. Koke. Koke. Have a go. Bottom Mendy corner, mate. Have a go. <laughs> Mendy. You're not touching it. You're not touching it, Mendy. Koke saying, calm it down. Calm it down. So what we're going to do now, we've put Placetta as um, a right midfielder because he's originally a left midfielder. He plays well in that left back role, but I'm going to play him there and help out Hudgens a bit and see how he feels. And I put Regulion on, who's from, what's his name? Tottenham, I think. Disappointing pass. Keep it on. Regulion. Exquisite pass by Koke. Well, now in a dangerous position. Bottom corner. Oh. From that position, he really should be doing more to work the goalkeeper. I was trying to get him a little goal. I was trying to get him a little goal. We won 6 1 in pre season against Chelsea. We killed it. Every player I have bought so far did their job very well. And I will be keeping them. I will be keeping them. My surprise sign in that I did. Um, Peraza, I think it's Peraza. It was amazing, mate. He chased him down. He lost the ball, chased him down, got the ball back. Amazing, amazing. And do you know what as well? We didn't even concede. We didn't concede. So just to conclude, we have officially built our defense. Next episode, we will build our midfield. We need a DM, a couple of center midfielders, probably about three of them. We need a left winger and a right winger. That's it. That's what we're going to be doing next episode. And we will be playing Man United next episode to test out our new midfield. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you haven't already, subscribe. Because we're going to be doing a lot of new things in the new year. Thanks for watching and take care.